All right, hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf here, one and only, and welcome back to some more Dragon Blaze. And we have a huge update coming, and with a lot of changes and features. I only glanced at it, but we're gonna go ahead and get into it. I don't know everything that's in here, but apparently Omega and Alpha is coming. So I'm guessing the rest of the gods are coming. I like her design; it actually, looks pretty nice. Anubis doesn't get his full face on her though. <laughs> Feels bad, mate. Okay, new allies. The affection system is finally coming to us. New area. Dragon Claw Valley. Wait, well, hold on. Spanish will no longer be supported. Sorry for the inconvenience. Ah, oh, well. Spanish players... Kind of feels bad. That sucks. Weird, I wonder why they're not supporting Spanish anymore. Anywho. There is one character, and like I said, I love her design. It actually looks pretty nice. She's a mage. Okay, let's get into this. Mage DPS, magic, inflicts damage to one enemy, and she increases her intelligence. Uh, skill 1 inflicts damage on one enemy, increases magic for all allies for 28 seconds, stacks up to 5 times. Her second skill inflicts damage on one enemy, and increases additional boss damage for all allies for 28 seconds. Next five times. Okay, it transforms into oh. Well, how how the hell did you say that? I played a lot of Smite and I, you know, fuck it. Transforms into that <laughs> the goddess of slaughter. No, I'm just gonna call it the goddess of slaughter for 20 seconds. While transformed, increase your crit damage. Oh. On all your attacks will not miss and also land crits. Okay, so that's pretty good DPS. So you're increasing your crit by a crowd ton. All your attacks don't miss and you're getting in all crit hits. That's like some pretty damn good DPS right there. When the transformation ends, all attacks will not miss and land crits for, oh, again for four seconds. Okay. Actually not that bad, that's actually a really good skill. Alright, passive. Our first passive is increased magic damage and additional boss damage. Second skill, she transforms, becomes... Oh, before she transforms, she increases her intelligence by 150. While transformed, she increases her intelligence by 280%. Additionally, while transformed, upon using your first skill, you set the cooldown of your second skill. And upon using the second skill, you set your cooldown for the first skill. Okay, so your first and second skill are just going to continue to cycle between each other. That's actually pretty insane. And plus they're the highest hitting one, so Jesus Christ, this character is actually really good. Okay. Wait, when when she boards um Buster okay, the magic buster. Increase her intelligence by fifty percent. So when you add her inside of the magic team of that buster deals more damage increases cooldown speed by two percent oh okay when these two are on the field fighting the world boss eh i mean that's pretty decent nothing like too amazing but pretty decent all right the max enhance ability or well actually enhance abilities the first one increases your single target damage uh maxed upon transforming the cooldown for the first and second skill are reset increases your single target damage and your range damage additionally your single target and range damage will increase per enhancement Alright, increases your magic damage 
when ultimate, when she transforms for 40 seconds upon entering the battlefield, increase your attack speed by 28% and your additional boss damage for 55 seconds. Is that at least I think that's what that says? Increase your magic and attack and your skill attack. Alright, start to buff herself here. Increase your intelligence by 45%. When she's Arch, when she transforms, increase your intelligence by 249%. When she transforms, she does 4 times damage additionally every time she attacks and inflicts 12 times damage when she's fighting um, Juris or Janice. Increases your additional boss damage by 300%, your intelligence by 300%, and your skill attack by 300%. Every time she transforms while fighting the world boss, stacks up to 12, 12 times. When she's bored, the magic buster, she inflicts... Oh, she increases the AoE damage by... 100%. Increases main stats by 55% for all allies. When she is with Horus. Horus. While fighting, um... That two-faced world boss. Jesus Christ, dude. These things are so small. I really need to... Just go on the forums. Maybe maybe it's a lot easier to read on the forums. Okay, the Infinity ability. When she transform, inflicts times 4 damage for every time she attacks. And inflicts 18 times damage. Wow. Okay. So she inflicts even more damage. Jesus Christ. Okay, she's going to be really good on the magic side. Okay. The buffs you receive every time transforms... Wait, what? The buffs you receive every time when fighting Janice stacks up to 16 times increases skill damage and single attack damage. Each Infinity Enhancement increases your skill damage, okay. Increases your attack when she is with Horus. Horus. I always butcher those when battling Janus. When she is bored the Magic Buster, she increases magic attacks by 285%. Each Enhancement increases the magic damage of the Magic Buster. Okay, that's actually not that bad. That's really good for the Magic Buster, actually. Like this one... Wait, what? Which one was it? It was this one. This one's alright. But this one's actually really good when you get her Infinity and over. Okay, increases magic attacks. Increases single attacks. Or you can choose to increase bonus damage when fighting Janus. Alright. Like, we get it. She's with him. <laughs> they they tried to make that very clear. Alright, Horus. Horus is a warrior, physical, tank, attacks all enemies, does attack enemies, and decrease their invasion. Okay. I mean, his design's alright. Yeah, not a huge fan of it, personally. So let's see if I'm a huge fan of his skills. Alright, yeah, first skill inflicts damage on one enemy and increases their physical damage received for 8 seconds. Also grants the hit enemy a sun mark that ignores immunity and evasion for nearly eight, 6 seconds. When allies attack the enemy with the sun mark, inflicts damage on nearby enemies. Okay, that's actually pretty good for killing off the rest of the team if you have like a really good attacker. Jeez. 
Alright, second skill. It's all enemies and leaves a burn on one of the enemies and it does damage over time every second for six seconds. Inflicts damage to all enemies on the third skill but protects the allies by re uh, receiving all the damage and debuffs from the enemy to himself. Okay. So he's just going to be taking all the damage. Hmm. So is he basically like a... He's basically like Kronos, in a way. But he's going to be terrible if he doesn't have any, like, actual sustain. And bring him back up. Let's keep reading and see if he does. Every time Horus is attacked by an enemy, enemy increases physical damage received at set chance. Stacks up to five times. Increases physical damage and additional damage, additional boss damage for all allies, and additionally increases them by 6% every enhanced level. Third passive. Increases skill attack for all allies and increase. Oh, okay, so it increases by 4% if. They're both on the field fighting Janus. Okay, so the cooldown speed increases. Basically the same thing that she has up there. Alright. Increases physical attack by 200... By 102 for allies. When maxed, increases physical attack by 430% and at skill attack for allies becomes immune for 30 seconds when entering the battlefield upon using sun mark which is the first skill the duration of the sun mark on enemies becomes 10 seconds okay increase enemies received physical damage by 17 when ultimate, increase their physical received damage by 376. Upon using your second skill, inflicts 6 times damage over time with enemies with a burn debuff. Alright, increases additional boss damage for all allies. When arch enhance, increase additional boss damage by... 691% for all allies increase main stats okay she he increases it the same amount when fighting Janus same as hers increases additional boss damage and physical attack for all allies okay so these two are just strictly for fighting Janus that's how it is he goes on the physical side, she goes on the magic side, and it counts as they're in the same battle, so they both get the same buffs. They're just not in the same team. Okay, that that's what this is basically is. Just a Janus pair. Stacks up to 10 times. Ah, bad. Alright, so the Infinity skill increases physical attack, skill attack, for all allies every time the sun mark skill is used when fighting Janus or Hydra. Oh, okay. Better for Hydra too. Not bad, but that's only when he's Infinity though. Ducked up to 12 times, all allies attacks will not miss and become crits for 10 seconds every time the sun mark skill is used when fighting Janus. Increases attack Skill attack, range attack, for all allies when Horus is with... Okay. So they're when they're together fighting Janus. Increases physical attack and additional random damage for all allies when fighting Janus or Hydra. Each infinity increases physical damage and additional random damage for all allies for 54%. Alright, infinity abilities you can choose. Choose to upgrade. Increases physical attack or increase additional boss damage. Or you can increase 
single target damage when fighting Janus. Alright. Now that we're at the characters, let's get to the rest of the update. Okay, level cap is increased from 144 to 147. Affinity system is finally here. Affinity system is officially available once... Okay, so... Okay, so basically, I guess you give hearts or if affinity points to a character, and once you max them out, you get their affinity card. Finally, that's coming to us. That's pretty nice. Okay, so they also have affinity summon double chance to where you can get the card twice. Okay, this is what we need to be worried about right now. So you guys better be saving your rubies and everything for this. Pretty sure it's probably just going to be rubies because... Oh, yep, this is event summon. So save all of your rubies. Don't use them from this point on. Because this is going to be amazing. Especially if you want to, like, increase the character as soon as you get them. Like, you can get freaking Grey Soul, but get two of them so you can get them to exalt it quicker. Okay, let's see. Ah. Huh. Our transcendent pigs have been upgraded with new rewards. It went from three to one round now. Okay, you can get uh, affinity items, improved reward display. Okay. Quality of life improvements. When we're trying nightmare, you will now start from the floor you failed. Clear. Thank you. Cause I hate climbing back up that crap. <laughs> All right, guilds. My guild rank and the war boss will be displayed. My guild rank is displayed while playing content. Challenge records cannot be viewed for siege and guild loot. Okay, marks for Gorg. Auto retry. You can now. Oh, okay. That's put on there twice. I think. Yeah, that's put on there twice. But yeah, you can do that now. Additional notes: You cannot have more than this gold. Spanish will be. Well, yep. Yeah. For Spanish players. I guess somebody's gonna have to make a mod or something to help out the Spanish players. I don't know how to make them, so... I mean, if I did, I would. Oh god, a milestone shop? No. Well, this is for the wells, basically, and there's a selector in there. Okay. Well... It's definitely gonna help the wells, like... Take a far leap, to be honest, especially with the Infinity Card Selector. Jeez. Anywho, I I'm surprised they even made this when they were just saying in like one of their like FAQs that they weren't planning on it and wanted to keep balance. That's that's weird that they went for that. And a world boss packet. What the hell is this? I don't know what the hell a world boss packet is. What is this? I'm confused. <laughs> okay, I know what the affinity cards are, but well, oh, I'm guessing they're giving you affinity cards to characters that work better in a certain place. I don't know. <laughs> I'm confused about that. Okay, new and new and returning player rewards have been upgraded. So if you guys are new and new and old players who haven't played in a while, these are your rewards that you'll get on returning. Do you get? Wow, you get a five, six infinity summon. So you'll get five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. So you get pretty much thirty summons out of that. You get. Wow, okay. They're being generous with the return for well with the new player rewards. 
you'll get <laughs> 20,000 rubies. You'll get 10,000 shoes. You're going to be playing for a while. Uh, you'll get 10 burning capsules. You'll get 2, million, 2 billion gold. You'll get 300 character enhanced potions. You'll get 2 arch overlord selectors. And you'll get 30 more summons. Then you'll get 1,000 emperor fragments. You'll get 500 arc buster parts and you'll get 1500 rune summons and you'll get another 20,000 rubies and you'll get <laughs> jesus christ you'll get four overlord selectors again and you'll get a infinity card jeez that's actually pretty decent coming back Alright, returning players, you guys will pretty much get the same thing as they get, so, yeah, no point in me reading that out. <laughs> okay, so tokens will now be built into shop, so you can just straight up buy them as you go. It'd be pretty nice, because they do have decent stats on them. Okay, we have a new login special event. They changed the icon. Let's see. Oh, nice. Okay. Oh, we get a free selector. So if you guys have an infinity card for any transcendence, get another one. Especially if that transcendent is like something you want. Like I have one tr infinity card for. Um, black and I need another one just to fully max her out this should be my new healer most OP healer you need you know <laughs> or I could just get something else who knows uh, it doesn't actually say what this stops at to be honest what this is uh, infinity selector stops at so I'm guessing every character that's been released up to this point or it could be before the Egyptian characters came out. Who knows? They haven't disclosed that yet. Increased drop rate chance for Horus and his wife. Um, Transcendent pigs are coming for double points and I guess double drop. Who knows? And special login events for the affinity items. And all these events are in. Jesus Christ. I've been all over the place. My bad, guys. <laughs> Alright, let's get to some normal summons. But yeah, just uh give an update on the whole tier list thing. No, not many people have actually voted, so I'm not sure if I can continue it on with just my votes and stuff like that. So, unfortunately, I might have to drop the whole tier list idea if we can't get too many people in it because it's supposed to be a community tier list where we all work together but hey if I can't we can't get it going then we just can't get it going if that or I'll just delay it into we can get some more votes um it's just that I just don't want to put out my opinion of the character you know my opinion only stuff like that all right I can do this I'm not gonna get anything good out of it, but no. But yeah, just to let you guys know how the tier list is going right now. It's no big deal right now. I'll just keep reminding you guys until you know we get some more votes in. But then again, it. It is kind of my fault. Well, yeah, kind of ish my fault just because uh, my PC did, you know, fuck up on me and I haven't started up the tier list for a long time. We'll start it back up the tier list for a long time, so yeah. All the people that were helping have probably already quit the game or probably just haven't thought about it at all. But, eh. Hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys have a great update, and I cannot wait for this update. Oh my god. 
I cannot wait. I want all my rewards. I can't wait to grind, too. Alright. Hope you guys enjoyed. Until then. Peace out.